Hi everybody, so today is something a little bit different from me today. The intention with this channel was always to mix it up a little bit, so rather than just concentrate on landscape. So I've come to a location where I can do a little bit of kind of cityscape, architecture, kind of townscape really. Um, so yeah, I have with me my 50 millimeter 1.8 lens, which I find is absolutely perfect for this type of photography. So yeah, let's see what I can find. Um, I'm gonna mix it up probably with some color and also some black and white photos, depending on what suits best. You can see behind me this really beautiful building that we have here. In fact, it's now a hotel. Uh, it's been a hotel for quite a few years now. Never actually been inside, but uh, on the website it's pretty nice. So I'm gonna stay around this area. It, the good thing is that it is open kind of on the outside to the public. I've been here before and they really don't mind people walking around, taking photos, etc. So I'm gonna spend quite a bit of time here just looking for different compositions. I've already taken a shot there with uh, the building in the background. Now obviously we have 50 mil lens. I can't get all of it in on one shot. There is a possibility to take it as a pano, should I so wish. Um, although I'm not quite sure, I think it looks fine without the pano. And in fact, even with a pano, it's gonna be really, really difficult to get the whole building in. But uh, yeah, let's just play around with a few shots from here. So yeah, the intention of this channel was never to be 100% landscape photography, but because I started it kind of spring and summer and autumn, that's kind of fell into the habit of, of making landscape videos. But it is my intention to do other types of videos as well with the photography that I'm doing, such as today. I always think as well that actually it's good to do different types of photography. So I also sometimes do portrait photography, a little bit of architecture, street photography, and I use those skills there and transpose those into my landscape photography and also vice versa. So anything I look for you know, in landscapes, uh, you know, light is important for any type of photography. So everything is interchangeable in terms of the skill set and one area of photography can, I think, can really help you improve your overall photography as well. So I was just looking through um, the windows of this building you can see behind me. Now I can't go into the building, but what I have noticed is that the sun is coming through the windows on the opposite side and really creating some nice patterns inside. So I just talked about light, it's a great example here. just walking around this part here of the tram station which has some really kind of nice architecture to it this town's kind of a bit of a weird mix really of some really nice architecture and some really kind of yeah not such great buildings I hope nobody really local is uh, <laughs> is watching this video but I'm just really looking for the color combinations looking for the architecture maybe trying to get some people in the shot as well and just playing around with the different angles there's also some sun coming in. So it's quite nice in terms of you know, people's shadows. So maybe not just taking people, but also just the shadows that are playing with the, with the architecture in the background as well. So I think there's some real opportunities here for some nice shots. Again, if I just spin around here, you can see some of the architecture that I'm playing with.
quite like black and white street photography. I think it works so much better than colour. Again, just personal preference really. Um, because it's bright sunlight today, you can see I'm kind of squinting into the sun a little bit. Um, really just looking again for anything that's going to work well with shadows. It's really going to emphasise the, the black and whiteness of the shot. If I can say that, what I just have, I guess. Uh, so that's really what I'm looking at. As I said, you know, there's always plenty of things around this uh, location to try and photograph. And you can see all of the building here is pretty much white and you can see the clear blue sky as well. Actually, just out of interest, for those of you who uh, are watching from the UK, I've just noticed this plaque here, which actually says that uh, it's twinned with Runnymede. Let me just spin the camera around. So I don't know whether you can see that there, but uh, as I said, it talks about the fact that it's actually twinned with Runnymede. And there's a little map that you can see there as well. So it's really nice to do something different today and I think I've got some quite nice shots. As always, thank you for watching and see you next time.